nice of you to join me. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. We're on part three now of our Passion Stroke Lady Vagabond uh, memory book tutorial. I've done a, already done a tutorial, um, or say a tutorial, sorry, a walkthrough of this album here um, where we're going to replicate it, but I'm going to use the Passion Papers um, for the tutorial. If you want to see this walkthrough, then hit this link up here and that will take you to the walkthrough and you'll be able to see the whole album in all its glory. So thank you for joining uh, me today. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, then um, please, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell and that way you will be notified every time I upload new content to my channel so that you won't miss a thing. Um, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram, I always forget that. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, so um, head on over there and I will put all the links to everything in the description down below. I'll even put in a few shopping links just for you to be able to have a look at different uh, products that I use. I'm not affiliated with anybody, I don't get paid, or I'm, this is not promotional video um, this is all entirely my own work uh, my own money as well this is the um, page we're going to do so it's an interactive page so it's a bit of a flip and a flap um, but it is very simple to make so we can flip this bit open here and then we've got a nice big photo mat inside we've got this here which I'm not going to do this for the video I'm just going to maybe put a pocket in there um, Okay, because not everybody will have this, but um, we can... Oh, look at that, little tiny spider. I always seem to get different little oh, go. insects for some unknown reason. And they seem to love my workspace. Anyway, moving on. Um, yes, um, so not everybody will have this particular die, um, but I will... It was a Elizabeth Crafts die. Um, it was one of the ones that came with her, you know, she did the planner dies. It was one of those dies that came with that. Um, but that should be quite easy. We'll be able to replicate that ourselves. We'll do that um, similar, but with it obviously out without the photo. So we lift that up. So we've got um, a pocket there. Another one, come on. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably too tiny. There we go. I'm so sorry if you don't like spiders, but it's only a little tiny one. Come on, I want you to get off my finger. There. No. No. Oh, down there. That's it. There you are. Yeah, that's crawled away now. So, again, moving on. So, we've got a photo mat there, a pocket here with another photo mat in. Close that up, and we've got some magnets that hold it all together. Then we can lift it over and we've got some more um, pockets and tags and things in here. So we've got an acetate front with a little pull out um, photo mat in there. So we've got a lot to get done but um, we can do it. So I'll leave that there so that I can refer to it and have a look and bring in our we won't bring that in we will bring in our trimmer and our black cardstock so for this you will need some black cardstock your passion papers or whichever decorative papers you're using you'll need a trimmer a scoring tool a bone folder uh, some double sided tape some scissors Um, some punches or dies, whichever you're going to use. So I've got some circle punches here. I've also got some dies as well that we could use. And a die cutting machine, a ruler. And some acetate um, as well. So I've got some acetate here um, so that we can do our front cover. Um, also, we will need a corner rounding tool, 
and I think that's it for the moment. Oh, and a border punch, if you want to put a border punch on, you can do. Um, I'm not going to do this for this one, I'm going to leave this plain. But you can use a border punch like what I've done on the edges here. Okay, so let me get my measurements out. Okay, when we do the page flap, or when we come to cut the page flap out, the amendment for the measurement needs to be seven and seven eighths by six and a half. So just remember that. So, so these are the measurements that you will need. So if you can write them down, I'll freeze frame this frame. I will bring it up so that you can hopefully see that. And then you can write them out and then you've got them to hand. I thought I'd try something different than me putting them on the screen all the time. I thought I'd write them out and then see how that works. So you'll have to let me know in the comments down below whether or not you like that idea um, rather than uh, me writing them all out on the screen. So yeah, leave me a comment. So the first measurement we're going to cut will be the page flap. So that was the six and a half by eight. So let's open this out. Six and a half by seven and seven eighths. Six and a half. Seven and seven eighths. And then if you've just got a pencil, just write on here, page flap, okay, then we'll know. The next measurement we're going to do will be the flap on flap, and that is the 11 by 6.5. So it's right down here, 11 by 6.5. And then put that on flap on flap. Okay, put that there. Next, we need to do the the strips um, that is going to go onto our acetate wrap. So one of the so some of the strips that you've already cut off the your uh, pieces of paper already, um, you can use those. So you need to cut two of these, and they need to be six and three eighths. Six and three eighths by a half an inch, and you'll need two of those, so that's one and one more. And that's two. Okay, throw that one away. Next we can do the acetate wrap. So this is just, this is quite thin acetate. It's what I'm using, because I don't use it to heat emboss, this particular one. This is just the acetate that you get with using an overhead projector. You know those old things that you used to get in school that used to have the words typed on and you, they used to put them underneath and it used to project onto a wall and you would be able to sing. Um, that's what this is. So this is the acetate wrap and it's going to be six and three eighths by five and a half. So six and three eighths. So it's about there. So that's six and three eighths by Five and a half. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. The next thing that we're going to do will be the um, pockets on the inside. So this is number one, 
and the measurements are six and a quarter by three and a half. So get I need so six and a quarter. I'm going to go this way. Six and a quarter, which is there. Three and a half. Okay, and just mark on that pocket number one. Okay. The next pocket is uh, number two and that is eight and a quarter by four and a half so you may be able to get that out of one of the sheets that you've cut off already so eight and a quarter just about by four and a half and mark that pocket number two okay so that's then all our pieces I think so far all cut out okay so once you've got all your pieces we're going to rearrange them so that they go in in the specific order so we want pocket one at the bottom po sorry pocket two pocket one acetate, flap on flap and page flap, that's what we need. So using the page, so getting the page flap here, we're going to, we're going to need to score it. So I'm just double checking just to make sure I get the right way. So that's going to go on there. So we're going to need to put the, so with your page flap, you're going to have the short measurement down the side of your trimmer and we're going to score along the long edge. So we're going to score at half an inch and this is going to give us a nice glue tab. Okay, So that is then our glue tab. Just fold that over. Okay. So that's one. So the flap on flap, we need to score this one in the middle at five and a half. So this is the very long one, so the flap on flap, and that needs to be scored at five and a half. Okay. Okay, I just haven't. Double check to make sure that it's five and a half. Yep, five and a half. So that's the five and a half. Right, we don't need to do anything with the acetate, so that can then go over there. So the pocket number one, what we need to do is we're going to score on three edges. So at half an inch on one of the short edges, half an inch on one of the long edges and then half an inch on the other short edge okay. and that's going to give us a little pocket so fold those or we'll school them over we'll sort them out when we come to it and then it's the same with pocket number two so we're going to score on the one long one short edge sorry two short edges and one long edge so and that's half an inch again there we go and again just score um, crease them score lines over okay so I'm going to put that away for just a minute because we don't need that bringing in your page base I'm working with the smooth edge so the one that hasn't got the edges on I'm going to work on that on the front okay and I seem to be a bit skew with there sorry about that um, there that's a bit better uh, my camera must have moved 
So on to move now, then we've got our page um, flap on, like so. We can we can start to stick it together. So let's have a look. Now I'm going to round all my edges um, on this album. So I'm using the a quarter inch um, rounder, but you can use decorative ones. And all I'm going to do is round the two corners. I'm not going to bother with the ones that are um, facing with the glue tab in. So again, I'm going to round these ones that are on the little um, flap on flap. That as well. But I'm not going to worry then about the pockets. So once we've done that, we can start to put it together now. Grabbing your double sided tape. Now we are going to put the double sided tape onto the mountain side fold of our flap and as near to as you can that edge. Okay, burnish that down. Okay, pull that off. Bring in your page. Now, we can do this one or two ways. I'm going to do it where I line up one corner with my page flap and then I just kind of pinch it down so that it's then level with the bottom and level with that corner. Okay, so that's push that over. like so. Make sure you've got it onto the right side of your page because my page is going to sit inwards so that's going to be where my, my hinges are and then obviously this is the flap that flaps open. So just giving that a burnish down just to make that straight. Now bring in your lovely magnets. Now I'm using these are I think these are 12 inch not 12 inch they can't be 12 inch sorry 12 mil or yeah three quarter no um five eighths uh, of an inch wide by one millimeter thick um, they're quite good ones as well, so um, yeah, I'm going to use those. So I'm going to put them just in the middle, so on the back in the middle. So I'm going to use a bit of my construction tape for that. And we just put them, put it there, so put it um, underneath the construction tape and then grab another piece of construction tape and then that's going to go over the top and then the magnet will just find that magnetic force okay and then just burnish it down hopefully it will stuck it has there we go and then you've got a magnetic closure like so. Now it may be that you might need to put another one on the top if it's, it might not be strong enough but we'll see as we come um, to decorate. It probably won't so you probably will need to put another one just on the top there just so that creates a bit more um, of a sticking force like so. Uh, just to add a little bit of tape on there, like that. So that's a one part of our flap done. Now we can't yet do, uh, we can't yet put our 
um, flap on flap on because we need to decorate underneath. Now this is where it gets a bit, um, we kind of get a bit frugal with our papers. So I obviously don't need to have papers all in here because you're not going to see it because that's going to cover it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find out. So position your flap on flap where you want your want it to go. Now I'm going to have it so you can have it where it comes across like so. That that would be good if you wanted to. But bear in mind is you have a you will have a tab that sticks out so that you can pull this out. So bear in mind you don't want to come too far over otherwise you'll end up um, in a bit of a pickle. So you can have it down here, you can have it at the top, you can have it wherever you want. Now I'm, you can have it even where it marries the side of your paper there. But I'm going to come slightly over like so, so that um, it sits just just off center like that now very lightly I'm going to just mark where that goes like so okay mark down like that so that's then, I don't know if, I'm sure you can see that. Let me turn this on. There we go. So you can see in there where the sun is coming through. So I'll move up a little bit. So you can see there where I've marked those marks. So that's where my flap goes. So I'm going to come sort of down here, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use an off cut to come down the center, down this side and then I'm going to cut this off. So using, so I'm going to cut probably about half an inch off this piece of paper here. So just stick that in. I'm going to do the top bit. So half an inch off of there. And then that's that can go on there like so. Okay, it just gives us a little border. And measure that down. I think that was seven uh, so that was seven and seven eighths. So we're going to cut it at seven and three quarters. This little tiny piece, cut this at seven and three quarters, like so. And don't forget to ink your edges. I'm using Ground Espresso, um, but you could use archival ink if you wanted to, um, or a different colour um, of Distress ink. So the choice is yours. So that then is going to go on the edge like that. So let's stick this down into place. Take my glue off and hopefully it's not furred up and it hasn't and I'm going to position that so that is that side okay I should pull that down like so there, that's looking good now um, we can and we can do then this bit here. I'm going to use the um, this paper. I might as well. So mine is going to measure. 
So I'm going to come down possibly about to the two and a half inch mark. So I'm just going to put in there two and a half. And I think that is five and a quarter. So it's two and a half by five and a quarter. And then this one I'm going to come up one and a half by five and a quarter across. Okay, so that's my measurement. So let me double check to make sure that that measurement is right. That measurement's perfect. And then I'm going to round the edge, uh, the corner, not the edge. Just double check which one so it goes that way. So it's this corner I'm going to round. I'll just ink that edge. I'm going to see it a bit better then. So that will go on there like so. Okay. Stick it down. Like so. Okay. So then we can carry on and cut and do this side here. So let's grab this. So that was two at so that was one and a half. You would have had enough to just um, out of one strip if I hadn't have made a mistake. So one and a half by five and a quarter. And then that can go there, but I'm going to put that that side. Like so. Okay, ink, um, round that corner and ink the edge. I'm so sorry if you can hear the pigeons in the background there. They um, are cooing away. It's a lovely sunny day today. Okay, so that then is that done. And then when we've come to put our flap on flap on, We've actually saved this, so this piece of um, pattern paper here can be a tag even, so um, we've, we've sort of saved. But I'm, what I'm going to do is just put a strip of black card just down that edge there. So just a one eighth of an inch um, strip of card. It'll just finish that little tiny bit off. get a piece of paper um, another piece of card so one eighth of an inch or just over one eighth of an inch maybe just to give it a there we go one eighth of an inch by seven and by seven and seven eighths right down there it's just a tiny bit that needs to snip off okay then your glue just a strip a, a little line of glue along there like so and then that will just finish that edge off and I think I've cut it a bit too long but that's no mind because what I can do is I can just trim that down 
like so. Yeah. So that then is that sorted out. So it goes that way. And that then can go on there like that. So that's what it's going to look like so far. But what we need to do now is we need to um, add our little uh, acetate frontage uh, on here. So to do that, it's very, very simple. I'll move that out of the way. Bring in our acetate uh, piece of paper. And what we will need to do is just round this cor these corners at the bottom. Now you can do this one or two ways. Now you can do it where, like I've done, where you encase it, or you can do it as a wrap so that it will flap open. I think what we'll do is we'll do it as a flap open uh, on this one, and. Um, Let's see how we get on with that. So, doing it as a flap open, we're just going to put some double sided tape along the bottom. If I can find what I've done with it. So, I'm hoping that you can see, there we go, see this. So, it goes along the bottom here. So, the bottom that you have rounded the corners on. Put your double sided tape along that edge. Okay, don't worry, it will be covered so you're not going to see it. So you can do it where it flaps open this way, or you can do it where it flaps up. Again, personal preference entirely up to you. It should keep it in no matter what. So I'm going to do it from the bottom. So again, you just I'm just going to work with one corner and then just go along as we do. Now this one it's just it's a tad short, but I did that because you'd be able to um, lift it over is how I did it so push that down like so now oops, that. now I've got mine just a little bit up here but um, and you just not in the right place now if you're very careful you can prise this off that's where if you use it I didn't want to use any glue because glue if you get glue stuck on your acetate it's very hard to get off so I didn't want to use glue so again let's just try this again uh, that's a bit better I think come over a bit and there we are that's better I just wanted it so that it was nice and straight either side okay now don't worry about seeing this because that's where these little tiny mats come in like so now I'm um, because um, I've rounded the corners I need to round the little corners on these ones so they will sit nice and flush uh, against there and hide though that workings out so, using the glue, and put 
push that on like so and then that then is the little flap so then you can get your pictures I've got a nice big one in here um, it's going to be the wrong orientation but uh, you can put your pictures in here like so and then they stick in so that when you open your picture they and are in nicely like that they don't they won't come out but then they're easier to get in and out okay so you just need to push them in just slightly into that double sided tape and that will hold them in place like so okay so that was nice and quick and easy wasn't it that was really good but again what I've forgotten to do is decorate this here so what we can what we can do now is I'm going to use that lady there so this is going to be five by six and three eighths so five by six and three eighths A little tiny bit because I want to try and get her six and three eight her feet in. There we go. And that can go in there. There we go. So crisis averted, as they say. So ink the edges. them in place and then we can push this down and into place would be easier if I'd have done it beforehand but Again, I make these mistakes so you don't have to. I think I was just getting so um, excited for doing the wrap. I love doing acetate wraps. Okay, there we go. So, that's in nicely. And then you can put your pictures then in there like that and let's do the wiggle test will they come out no they're still stuck in there a little bit but nothing major you're not really going to be wiggling them that much so they will stay stay in now i am going to add um a decorative strip along there so Again, just seeing if we have any off cuts anywhere that I can use. I've got the piano. I didn't really want to use that because that's a, that's a nice piece. There we go. I've got a bit there. 
so again let's measure that so that would be six and three eighths by three eighths I think that is because that's half so that would be three eighths so I'll do that one first so um, a half by three eighths and six and three eighths just a little part there we go and then this is going to go on like that but again I think no I might no that's fine if you can just round the edges just not round the edges round the corners just slightly it probably be too much but because it's so tiny but I think I've managed it yes I did just so ink 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 Yeah, if anybody's got any um, questions, then please do ask. I do tend to try and answer all the questions that all the comments that I get. Um, if uh, if I don't answer, then please message me again because it would it would mean that I haven't seen the message. So yeah, please do message again. But if there's any content that you'd like me to, to do, again, leave a comment down below and uh, get in contact with me and let me know and then we can see what we can do. So that is the, the front of the flap on flap done. And then that's going to go over there like that. Okay. And... That's where our photos are in there. So that would fit um, as like a six by four, or these two small ones here um, in there. So you 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 know you can get some nice um, some nice little photographs in that little tiny bit. And I've got a lot of glare. I do apologise. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we've done the front of our flap. So now we can go ahead and attach it now in my one in the vagabond album i left this top bit open so that you could put in a tag if you so wanted so how i'm going to do that is i'm just going to place that where i would think i want it to go like so i'm going to open it up and again just put a pencil line down the side there now that tells me that I don't want to go any further than that with my glue because that's the edge then of my um, my page flap so I'm we're not going to use glue I don't know why I said glue I'm going to use double-sided tape so I'm just going to go with the glue just about an eighth of an inch before that pencil line okay take it off and then I'm going to put our pencil um, my pencil line a double sided tape on the other edge of the flap and along the bottom like so Now before we actually stick it down, if it goes this way, no, I don't need to actually, no, I don't know why I said that. So, okay, let's take the bottom bit off and then the side. Okay, I'm going to open that out so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to position this where I think it's going to go I think it's about there make sure it's nice and straight and 
then push down. Hopefully, all been well. I haven't got any showing, which is good. I haven't. I've got no double-sided tape showing. And then that's going to keep that nice and firmly stuck because we've got those three magnets in there as well. And then we've got this one here, which is going to keep that one shut when we put this one on at the top here. Okay? Like so. So, we need to just put our round um, tab pull on. Now, you don't have to if you don't want to because we've got enough there. But I think it just looks really nice to have a little bit of a tab so you can pull that out, up. Okay? Um, but again, that's entirely up to you. So, what I think we'll do is we'll put it in here and then it's going to be covered so you're only going to see part of it but then it will lift up or oh, no sorry it will need to go on the bottom bit but as I say um, Cool Cats do some little um, round they, they aren't this, I can't find the ones I was looking for but they do some round circle um, dies that you can cut out but just for quickness today I'm going to use some um, circle punches so I've got a one inch and I think this one is a five eighths of an inch one uh, and they work just as well and um, for quickness as well so grab yourself some of your cardstock and I'm going to cut out um, two black and then out of the bigger um, one inch and then two small and that's out of the five the five eighths one okay like so and then they are going to fit in there like so so let me ink those edges and I do apologize if you can hear a little bit of a whirring sound in the background um, I've got one of those um, little tiny desk fans as I say we are having a little bit of a heat wave here in the UK at the moment which is lovely I can't say that it is not I love the hot weather I know a lot of people don't um, but I do so let's put them over there like so, like so. Now these are going to get sandwiched together. So one's going to be at the back and one's going to be at the front. And we're going to put them on so that they go sort of there. So let's put the glue in between. Pull that over and work out which way I want it. So I'm going to have it with that at the front. So for quickness I'm going to put some double sided tape on. That's just going to go on half of my circles and then I'm going to put a bit of glue and then work out roughly where I want it to go it's going to go sort of there there we are and that then is the little pull that we can then pull use as our little finger hold so that we can pull that open and then if you want to you could decorate this here on the inside okay you could do if you wanted to so with that done we've now got the inside to do I'm gonna put our magnet on the other side but I'm gonna use a thinner mag I'm going to use a smaller magnet only because I've got quite a lot of pull there already from the magnets that are underneath um, I don't think I'm going to need 
too big um, of a magnet on the top. But we can see if we don't, if we do, then um, I'll put a, an extra magnet in. So let's get that working like so. Push it down. Hopefully it's stuck. It has. And that should hopefully give us enough stick. It might not. Because once I've got, no, I think I'm going to need the bigger one. Yeah, we're going to put the bigger one on. Because um, I didn't didn't um, factor in the pockets and things. So, let's put that down. Come on, stick. Hopefully that's in the right place. Yes. Okay. Right, so now we're going to decorate the inside part of our page. So let me bring in my album that I've done so that we can see what we've done. So we've done this and we're now going to work on this page. So we're going to work on doing this similar sort of technique, well similar sort of thing that we've done here um, but we without a die. See how we get on with that. And then we'll do the pocket. So, work out what size you want. So I'm going to do, let me get a piece of card. No, not that one. Just find a piece of card in here somewhere. There that will do, I think. Now I'm going to do, let's have a look where my ruler is. I'll just turn it this way so that I can see now. I'm going to put it on this side, I think. Uh, we could put in I tell you what, we'll do an acetate pocket. That let's try that. So with that, oh, I need to get it out again. Let's have a look. So I'm just going to measure here, but I'm going to put it up here. So I'm going. I need one to be about four and a half. By five, let's go four and a half by five. So four and a half by five. Okay, put that over the way. Bring in our paper. Let me just check. Let me go this way. So I'm going to go that way. And what we can do, we've got this in here then to put in um, some little photo mat. But we're going to make this into a little window. So how we're going to do that is, I need to bring my trimmer in, my ruler and my pencil. I'm going to create a border. Now I want to have at least a quarter, three eighths, half, 
half inch border all the way around okay so if you just mark it half inch all the way around half inch And one more, like so. Using your trimmer, I find it easier to work with my trimmer than I do with a craft knife, but you can do this with a craft knife. So I'm going to just line up my pencil lines with the centre of my trimmer gutter in there, okay? And just by eye it all the way across to there as well, and then stop, lift off, turn it round, and do the same the other side. So, all the way, lift up, turn around. Now, you won't get it all the way, but that's okay because we can just use some scissors or something just to get those last little bits. Like so. So then just using your scissors just nick off those bits that you've not managed to get. So one. So then that is our little window. So we just need then some of your off cuts of acetate that we had. Uh, we should have some from left from what we already cut. And then we're just going to, um, I am going to measure this up. So we want it to be five and th sorry four and three eighths by sorry I've forgot what I said then so four and three eighths by four and seven eighths okay And then that should fit nicely over that hole, like so. So you can put your double-sided tape around the outside, um, sorry, around the inside of your frame, because that's what we've created, a little frame. Take off the double side, the backing tape. One, two, three, four. Don't have lost your 
acetate and then just carefully place it on don't do what I've done and it just automatically wants to stick no don't do that Okay, try again. Stay in place. There we go. Okay, so then that is a little window, and then that can get put either on here or on here, wherever you want to put it. I might put mine on there. But I've just noticed I've got a few bits of pencil marks showing. I meant to turn it over on the other side. But, is it rub them out. Now what you can do is you can um, add your corners in here to decorate that. So as we did it a half inch, you only, you'll need to cut these strips at three-eighths. So if you're going to cut three-eighths strips, or if you're going to do the same, the, um, I'm just going to cut the three-eighths strips. So that would be four and seven-eighths by three and three by three and three and sorry but by four and three eighths I don't know what's wrong with me today right so that and that and that so I can use these bits of off cuts so I'm going to just cut out So we need um, three eighths. So where are we? So that's there, three eighths. So we need three pieces. So that's one. say three I meant four pieces three and more makes four okay so then that is the four and then we can mitre the edges so I'm just going to ink round Now some of these are going to be a little bit longer, but we can sort them out. So that one's okay. So it's just these sides ones that we can cut down. Okay. Like so. Like so. Okay, so to mitre your corners, what we need to do is... Start with the right measurement. So the ones on that side would be four and three, four and three, be four and three eighths. Four 
four and three eighths. Okay, that's better. So they go down the sides. Okay, so to mount our corners, taking your two one um, each um, end, so one small and one big, and then you're just going to cut. You're going to put them so that they're right uh, at right angles, and then you're just going to cut from corner to corner diagonally. Okay, like so. Okay, so that's one. Okay, and then I'm just going to work my way round. So do exactly the same with the other, um, with the all the other corners that you've got, like so. So this one can be stuck down because that is in place. That's one. That's two, because that one goes there like that. So do the bottom side. So then that can go, that goes up there. Don't forget to ink the mitered corner as well. that one in and then the last one which is this corner here so that goes along the bottom And then this one is the last one, goes on the side. And I think that one's just a bit too big, so let me just cut that one down. There we go. That's better. I hadn't cut it enough. So then that makes that then a nice decorative finish, but it's not straight. Come on, tomorrow, get a grip. Yep. Just that bit too big. So that then is our um, little window pocket. I think I'm going to put it here actually. And I'm going to have it open from this end so that you can put in a tag from there. So you'll put your double sided tape along the three edges on the inside. So as close to that edge as possible because you will be cutting down on the opening of your pocket so just be bear that in mind like so. but we can't stick it on just yet because we need to cover this so we've got that ready so let's um, get our paper and then cover this all up let me 
measure it first. So we have got six and three eighths by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter? No, five and three quarters. No, five and three eighths. So six and three eighths by five and three eighths. So let's do this one. And I think it's going to be nice to have some flowers. like so and cross that over so then we've got we've, we've nearly done the flap so that's that's that done so then we can add then the flap in like that and then that just you can still see oh you can't there we go you can still see the picture in behind which is brilliant so let's so you can either have it this way so you have it in the middle and have a very long tag or you can have it at the side and then have it coming out I think I'm going to have it coming out this way so one two three and we'll just put that on like so Yeah. And then you can have a little tag going in there like that. Okay. I mean that isn't the, a proper tag, but that that that's near enough for the moment so that we've um it gives you that idea. So you can ha either leave that blank. I'm going to actually I'm not going to put another um, pocket up here because uh, I've got quite in, I've got quite a nice bulk there already. But you could then just add in a photo mat there if you wanted to. So you could maybe just put in um, a f you know some photos just in um, with using the photo mounts uh, on there if you wanted, and then that. Otherwise, I'm bulking out the album for the sake of just putting a pocket in. So I'm going to leave that like like that, I think. And then we've got a tag to go in, um, which is going to go in the top like so. So we can just make um, up a tag that goes in there. So I'm just going to leave these black pieces of card in so that it rem uh, reminds us um, that that's what that needs to do. Okay, the last bit that we need to do is then the inside of our flaps. Now, let's just familiarise ourselves with the album. So, what we've done is with the album we've got two pockets left to do um, and then that's it. So we can start to put some pieces of paper on. 
So we've already cut our pockets out, so let's um, work out what um, paper we're going to use. So let me just work out the paper sizes. So again, that's going to be 5 and 7 eighths by, I think it was 7 and 7 eighths. So if, yes, so if that was seven and seven eighths, that needs to be seven and three quarters, and I think this needs to be five and three quarters. Yeah. Yes. And then this one, I think, is our big one, which will be seven and three quarters by. Seven and five eighths. Okay. So let's find our paper that we're going to use. Again, you could paper piece this, um, but I don't want to use that. use this one. Now you could also add in some little chipboard elements on these as well to keep them um, stuck down which would be a really good idea. So, sorry, crinkle crinkle. Let's just trying to find something that's small. So that's probably a bit too big but something like that would help as well. That actually looks really nice. But um, maybe something like that would be nice in the corner or something. You know just some chipboard elements just to um, add a bit more character to the front there. But anyway, I digress. So let's do let's do our paper piece across, so that we've only got this little bit here left to uh, do. So if we then we need to cut from this side, so this side is going to be the five and three quarters. So if we cut, no, if we cut the top bit off at the seven and three quarters like so that then gives us the measurement along the top so then this one is five and three quarters like so so that will go on there and then this will end up being the last bit on there. And then we've just got that tiny little bit there to paper piece, which maybe we could use that side uh, and just maybe, you know, we could use it as that even. So if you've rounded your edges, remember to round the tiny. I keep saying rounding your edges, rounding your corners, make sure you round the, the correct corners. So let's
one and we ink those edges Stick that in place, like so, and then we've just got this little tiny bits here to paper piece, and I think this bit here just goes ideally. So we need to cut that at seven and three quarters. And there we go. We don't need to round the edges on this because this is going into the uh, hinge. Oh, I have to tell you, it is t today at the moment, it is the, the time is quarter to eight in the evening here and we've got one of the we've had one of the warmest days so far this year and it is I am baking here got my little fan going let me show you my little fan oh it's my little tiny fan it's very very good I have to say um I can have it on and it doesn't blow any of my papers around it but it keeps me cool which is good so on the edge here we're just going to add a little strip there just to um, tidy that bit up but I'm not that's going to be too big so I just want a smaller piece and I want possibly a quarter inch yeah that's possibly about right and there then just double check to make sure that that is lovely it is that's just a nice size so let's put our glue on and push that down there we go and then that just finishes that off and you wouldn't have even known that that wasn't part of the this paper but it just it, we, we just become paper savvy with things like this so doing that bring in then the our pockets one and two so there's pocket one so pocket one's going to go on this side and pocket two is going to go on this side like that so with the pockets we just need to mitre these corners so where we have they cross our score lines cross you're just going to cut up to that point okay like so. You're also going to mitre the glue tabs on the edges here, okay, up to that score line there, just like that. That way it just makes, um, when we put our tags in it doesn't get stuck. So with this, um, with our double sided tape with this, we go um we do it again on the mountain fold and we're going to go down the two short sides and across the long the bottom of the long side like so and up the other end like that take off the double sided backing 
and then we can stick that in place. Now again, it's entirely up to you whether you have it um, on the side. But sort of, I'm going to have it about there, I think. There we go. About there. Okay, push it down. Like so. That's one pocket and then we've got enough space in there that that gives us that whole width. Using these glue tabs it gives you the whole width of that pocket then, it doesn't cut down. Sometimes you can't help it but um, other times it is nice to have that full width. Now again I've just done the same thing, mitered the corners and then mitered the top bits as well. So. Let's just put our double sided tape on these again. But before I do, let me just burnish these corners down, these score lines down so they sit a bit more flush. So, one. Two. And then three. Break that off. Okay. Take the tape backing off. And then we can position it. Now you can, I'm going to position it so that it is exactly the same place. Now I've made this one bigger than I did in my other album. This is what I like about doing the two albums again. Now if I'd have thought about this, I would have made this the same size. But it doesn't look that, so I might push, no, I'm going to put that the same size there. That's okay. No, I like it. So push that down. Okay. And then we've got two um, other pockets there. And I'm hoping I've got them in the right size. I have. Right, so now we just need to cover them and um, then I think we're virtually done. Okay, so that then is virtually our page done. I'll bring that over just a little bit so that it, the, the glare from a light doesn't uh, interfere. Now the only thing we've got to do, which I haven't done yet, is I haven't um, put our little tag on um, our round, well we could do that now actually, our little round finger pull that goes on here so let's put that on now while I think of it we'll use the same one which is the the one inch and then the five inch ones one two okay ink the edges And then what you can do in your own time then is you just need to do the photo mats. So that's one. And Okay, 
And we're going to stick these on together. Like so. Add a bit of double sided tape to a half of your little circle. And a bit of double and a bit of glue. And then work out where you want it to go. I'm having it just there. I need to be moved over just a tiny bit. There. I think that's about right. There we are. And then that's then our pull tab to pull that up. I'm not doing the tags just yet. I'm going to use all my off cuts and do them at the end. Because then I'm not cutting into brand new pieces of paper um, just to make up tags. So where we've like paper pieced here, I'll do that also on my tags. So that way, again, we would just become paper savvy and um, use up every single piece of our precious paper that we've got. So yes, so that's what um, I will do. So thank you again for sticking by me. This video turned into a, a huge, huge um, tutorial. I didn't realise it was going to take so long. Um, I think it was because we I swapped and changed a few things um, as we were um, going through the tutorial as well. So please subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Please hit that uh, notification bell as well and that way you will be notified every time I upload new content to my channel and you will be able to see it first so you will know. I'm also on all the social medias. Uh, I post on there quite a lot. I have a Facebook group as well. I will put all the links in the description down below along with a few little shopping um, links as well. With that being said, I will love you and leave you and I will see you on the next one. Bye!